So I was doing this embroidery on a t-shirt and something happened. I think I might have been like holding on to the fabric or something, but something caused the machine to jump. And so the words that I had planned to put on top, they moved. I had to take them out. And I'm what I'm going to do is rescan this to see if I can get it to work. So I have the words here. And I'm going to push the scan button and see what I can do. Okay. And this is just to show you how you can fix something like this if this happens to you. All right. So scan and oh, it wants me to close this. Oh, that's funny. I think it wants a larger embroidery hoop because I had to, for some reason, actually... Um, I have this, um, I have this, the words in an array, and then I have to, like, make it fit, and something happened when the whole pattern jumped, and so now the array was, like, lower. It ended up being, the words were lower than they were originally, so now to get them to actually fit on here and shrink above and, you know, so that I can fit them in this frame. I actually changed frames and everything. Um, I had to change, like, make the array more rounded so it would fit, if that makes sense. So I'm going to scan it and see what happens. I'm clicking embroidery, and then I'm clicking the scan, the camera. Oh, it wants me to close this, so hopefully it's telling me the carriage will move. So now it likes the embroidery frame because I changed the array so that it was a little bit smaller. Now it will scan. And I'm just gonna hold this fabric up a little bit. It's, it's kind of cheap, I think, to me. Even though, you know, we pay a lot for these t-shirts, to me, they feel like cheap cotton, but we use them because that's all we get in the um, craft stores. So now that I've scanned it, look at that. Over there, it's showing me, can you see, that as I have it right now, the words are going to go on top of my glass. And I do not want that. So I'm going to close the scan screen. And I'm going to press layout and move it. Well, hopefully this whole thing will go down a little bit. Um, let's see, I want it over. I don't think it'll go over too much. Yeah, too bad I can't get it to go over more. Now it's like right on top of the, right on top of the glass. I don't know if I like that, but we'll see. We're going to shine it down up with using the projector. Okay, so I'm going to make the background light, so now you can see the letters here, and I'm going to move this over so I can see what that looks like. So it looks like that is about that far from the edge. It's about the same distance from the edge. It's going, the R is right over the... So it kind of looks to me like it's going to be off to the left a little bit. And I think I, what I want to do is move it down just a little bit more. So let's see how this looks. So now I've got it over here and I'm using these buttons to move the words around the scanned picture. So hopefully I can save this sweatshirt, or t-shirt. And it looks like I gotta re-thread it. Boy, I haven't had good luck lately. All right, so now we're going to say okay. And it should go back to embroidery. Yep. Okay, here we go. We've got the green light. 
Now I'm going to stop this because this t-shirt needs to... <laughs> I have a friend that says she completely takes the t-shirts or sweatshirts apart to prevent bunching like this. But I think as long as you know where the machine's going to work, put it up and then don't touch it. I'm, uh, it should be okay. Maybe I was holding it a little bit too much, but I know that the machine's gonna work over here on the C. So I was probably messing with it a little too much. And maybe it jumped because of that. I'm just holding the fabric gently here. Yeah, sometimes this happens and it's nice now that I have a projector. I didn't have that before with my own machine. And a scan so that I can get it to scan the picture. You know, every time I have a problem with embroidery, it's because I've honestly tried to take shortcuts with this water soluble stabilizer that I have on the top. Sometimes I forget to put it in the hoop before I start sewing. And you know what, now that I think about it, I think I'm going to put uh, I usually put um, that's this tearaway behind it, and I forgot to do that because I'm in a hurry to go somewhere. So that's when I usually make mistakes. When I'm in a hurry to go somewhere, and I think of something at the last minute, which I always seem to be doing. Does anybody else like that? So hopefully, I I just find like when it's t-shirt, if you float. If you've got something on the top to prevent the stitches from going into the, the knit fabric of the t-shirt, it just makes the satin stitch so much nicer. And I think everybody has problems getting, you know, the fabric to stay back on the side. I, I know I've seen the monster hoops have a special gizmo that you can put in there to hold it back. But this is a regular baby lock hoop. Oh, it doesn't have that. I have to hold it back with my hands. So I am just going to show you this part. If you want to watch the rest of the cheers word, that's up to you. But I just wanted to show you how I was actually able to fix something again that didn't go so well. And you can use the plus minus to back up stitches. So what I did when the C stitched out over here wrong that, that when it jumped and the H was starting to sew on top of the C um, I had to take out the C and part of the H I had to use the plus minus to back up to the C you know the beginning of the word C I actually changed hoops went to a little larger hoop um, uh, then scanned it in and before that I, because of what happened to this particular um, embroidery project I had to use the projector and the scanner on the machine and the projector to make sure I was lining things up okay so no, I'm hoping that it turns out alright it looks like it's stitching better definitely stitches better when you float a pair of tear away behind it it just gives it that much more oomph For a really close friend of the family. It's a birthday party. So I thought it would be fun to give her something nice. Hopefully, it looks like it's going to turn out. So I'm just 
just going to let the video go and then when I'm done with the letter stitching out, I'll tear away the washable or sol soluble, water soluble stabilizer on the top. And there's a uh, regular tear away on the bottom. There's also cutaway. So that's how I stabilize this part particular project. It was to me, um, even though I try to get good quality cotton t-shirts, when you actually use them and start to embroider on them, you can s see whether you think they're really that good or not. And to me, this one is a little bit less quality, lower quali quality, but it's still nice. So now I've done the R, then it's going to do the S and the exclamation point. And at the bottom, it says it's going to write to me. So cheers to me. And this is a design that's actually in the Solaris Vision. And um, I just kind of jumped into the video because I'm in a hurry. Uh, but this is the Solaris 3 that was, up, you know, the same as the Vision. And I've been on a journey to learn as much as I can about it. But I've done a lot of machine embroidery, but I haven't used that many patterns that are in the machine. And this one's definitely in the machine. I can't remember where I found it. If you're interested in where it is, let me know in the comments and I'll go back and put it in the description. What? Because of the camera on the projector, I was able to save this thing. There we go. I got thread everywhere. There's a big mess in there. So if you can hoop your water soluble on top of a t-shirt and don't try to like keep it down or anything like I used to do, that's um, the best way to go. You don't have to worry so much and babysit. I'm used to working on um, t-shirts and sweatshirts that are a little larger in size. That makes it a little easier to uh, keep the fabric off of the embroidery area. So all we have left is the exclamation point after this, and then the bottom to me words. And we'll be done. Sorry, I just jumped into this video instead of introducing myself, but... Like I said, I didn't expect to be doing a video tonight. We're supposed to be at going to a party. And I figured, you know what? Better time to do a video when you are having trouble and you know, need to know how to fix it. Or how to use the machine features to fix it. Okay, so we're done with that word. Let's see how far... How much more we need to do. Let's see, there we go. So now I have to make sure this... Kind of pull that down because it's not going to sew back there because you got room and get the sleeves out of the way and there we go I'm trying to find my little embroidery stick but i think it'll be okay it looks pretty flat Two minutes left. Just cutting the threads. I love to watch that little arm do the work for me. So I put the um, drink glass in first. I added that to my design and then I went back and I added the letters changed the cheers so that it was an array and curved it on the top around the glass and then just added a different font 
to the bottom with the words to me and added that both letters. Thank you for moving over. <laughs> I thought it was going to stitch close. Well, but I it's fine. One more minute. gonna look okay. I thought maybe the cheers was a little bit over but it looks okay in the picture. I'm trying to give you a shot near the end so you can see it's finished. Way everything goes fine, and then something happens in the middle of the project. And is that always not always the case? I think I was babysitting, it, babysitting it too close on the side. My fault was. Okay, I'll back you up. So there you go. I'm hoping you can see it. Cheers. Cheers to me. Well, this is the water soluble. I'll take that off and cut around the back. I think we are done. I don't know if you want another shot, but here it is. Thank you for watching.